look back in your memories about the statements made. A firebrand moment full of passion and an impatience for change. For more than 40 years, Michael D. Higgins has been one of the most forceful left-wing voices in Irish life. His social concern grew, he once said, from a Limerick childhood, his father struggling with poverty and ill health, and he and his brother being sent to live fractured lives with an aunt and uncle here in County Clare. Clareite Sean O'Casey also influenced his early political thinking. Screamed Sean O'Casey would have won that poverty is like a disease of the bones. It gets into it and you can't ever leave, it never leaves you entirely. I guess credim go with Garawan Kerstige, we shin. First elected to the Doyle in 1981, Michael D became a leading campaigner for social justice and civil rights at home and abroad. He sought international support for liberation movements across the globe, as well as highlighting the horrors of famine and death in Africa. Its eyes rolled, it moved its head a little, but it was clear even by rushing to the front of the queue that it was too late, the baby was dead. As Arts, Culture and Gaeltacht Minister, Michael D set about revitalising the Irish film industry and established an Irish language TV service. The party wouldn't let him challenge Mary McAleese at the end of her first term in office. But seven years later it said yes and the now 70-year-old poet-politician threw himself into the campaign with the same sense of gusto he'd showed in the heady days of the 1960s. Jim Fahey, RTE News, Galway.